Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll show you how to automatically save all the emails you receive from one person in a folder in Gmail. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. If I want to automatically add an email I receive in Gmail to a folder, I need to follow a two-step process. Firstly, I need to tell Gmail how to identify the emails I want to add to the folder. I can do this using the email address of the person that sends the mail. And then, I need to tell Gmail which folder to add the email to. A quick tip to choose the email you want to send to a folder is to firstly select it in your inbox by ticking the checkbox to the left of it. And if I move my mouse to the top of the inbox, you'll see there's a three dots ellipsis icon that has some more hidden options behind it. Let's click on that once. A number of further options are shown, but I'm going to choose filter messages like these. When I click on that, the Gmail search filter box is shown. And if I briefly close that, you'll see that all the emails I've received from that email sender have been selected. Let's go back into the search filter box. By moving to the Gmail search bar at the top of the inbox, and I'm going to click on the show search options icon. The filter box then reappears, and you'll see that the email address of the sender is already pre-populated. We now need to tell Gmail which folder to automatically add emails to from this email address. To do that, I'll move my mouse to the bottom of this box, and I'll click on the Create Filter option to confirm I want to use this email address to select emails. A new box then pops up that asks you to choose what you want to do with an email once it's been identified. There are a number of options shown here, but to automatically add an email to a folder, we're interested in the Apply the Label option. In Gmail, folders are called labels. They work in largely the same way, so when you're using Gmail, instead of folders, think labels. I'll click once in the checkbox next to that option to select it, and I'll move my mouse to the Choose Label drop-down next to it, and click on the small arrow to open that. A number of existing folders or labels are shown, and you can choose to add your email to one of those if you wish. I'll click back into the drop-down, however, as I want to create a new folder or label name. I can do that by clicking once on the New Label option. A pop-up box then appears that asks you to enter the name of the label you want to create. I'll give my label a name, and I can confirm that by clicking on the large blue Create button. My new label is now selected in a filter box. Before I confirm this rule, I also want to select the option in this box to also apply the filter to the existing matching messages. By choosing this option, all of the existing emails from this person will also be added to the new folder automatically. I'll click on the checkbox once to do that, and I can then turn on this automatic rule by clicking on the large blue Create Filter button. The Gmail inbox then reloads, and you'll see that our new folder name has been added to all the emails received from that email sender. And if I click into that folder name in the left hand panel, all the emails I received from that person have been added to the folder. Any new emails that you now receive from that sender are also then automatically added to the folder as each new one arrives. I hope you find this Wago Guide useful and learn something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.